Welcome back, everyone. Please subscribe, hit that like button, continue to support me. We are almost at 10,000 subscribers, so I'm very, very excited um, because 10,000 subscribers for me is a lot, to be sincere, given the fact that I deal with primarily the ultra high end audio, right? So there aren't many people who own this level of gear. Guys, I didn't want to keep you guys guessing because I know some of you all get very, very, very anxious to find out what component is it that I'm talking about that sits under these covers here, okay? Before I show you guys what component that is, I wanted to give you some context as to what made me decide to buy this particular unit. It should be no secret by now that I have owned some of the best DACs in the world. Lamp and Sator Pacific, Core Dave, MSB Reference, DCS Vivaldi, DCS Rossini, Esoteric K1, and the list goes on and on and on. Guys, every single DAC that you have seen on my channel has been extremely special. There is absolutely nothing wrong with any of those DACs. But when I brought this component, and I made the decision to buy this component, I did it primarily because of feedback from those whose years I trust. And it was an absolutely no brainer to buy this particular product because I felt extremely, extremely solid about it. That said, without any further delays, I introduce you to my new DAC, MSB Select 2. That's right, guys. You are looking at it right now. So far, this DAC has been the most impressive purchase that I have made over the last three years. And I wanna make sure I say this. This does not mean that the Boulder 3060 is not impressive. This does not mean that the 2110 is not impressive. I am simply saying, when it comes to the improvements that I have heard here, given the amount of cash that I had to spend for this unit, and I know we talk about the law of diminishing returns, and yes, guys, that is a real thing, okay? That exists. But I'm going to tell you something. When I went from the reference, which, which now has an MSRP of about $50,000, and I moved to the $105,000 MSB Select 2, there is a $55,000 price gap. My biggest concern was, am I going to really hear $55,000 of improvements and the truth is guys I did not hear a $55,000 improvement the truth is I heard a $100,000 improvement coming from the reference to the select yes you heard it this DAC has completely in my opinion and I want to give it to you raw killed every other DAC I've had murdered every other DAC it doesn't matter what brand we're talking about this DAC has completely elevated my opinion of what true ultra high end is all about. Now, you remember my MSB reference, it was a fully optioned DAC with dual power bases, something that you cannot get anymore. Um, it had every single option possible. Just to give you an idea, guys, okay, when I had the reference in here and I was using the Tyco Extreme music server, with an expensive Ethernet Shanyara Omega cable. I was also using a transparent Opus power cord on the Tyco Extreme and also a two different USB cables, Shanyara Omega and also at times I used the Bahala 2 from Nordos. Okay. I was using the Tyco Extreme connected through the Pro USB module into the reference. Amazing sound. Pulled this unit out of the boxes you are seeing right now, took it out, sat it on the same shelf that you see here, grab a cheap Ethernet cable that I found laying around in my cable bin, and then I proceeded to use the same Shunyata Omega power cords that I was using on the reference and plug this unit into the wall. No music server, 
nothing else connected and just like that stand alone streaming rune with no Taiko extreme connected to it i'm simply connecting the dac into my router with a cheap ethernet cable and using shunyata omega power cords and guess what it blew away the reference dac connected to the Taiko extreme music server that's right i can't believe it but the reality is my ears are telling me the select two beats the reference connected to a Taiko extreme music server by itself standing like this with nothing else attached to it with a cheap ethernet cable it beats a reference msb so that just tells you the performance gain by going from the reference all the way to the select two now a lot of you guys i know were thinking this was probably the wadex stack i've heard a lot of narrative i've seen a lot of com commentary about the stack it's supposed to be a great piece i personally have not heard it i know i have a distributor near my home that carries that DAC. i simply have not been able to go by and listen to it but i have heard great things about the wadex stack okay i believe that is hundred and fifty thousand dollars more or less Guys, I simply wanted to stick to MSB. MSB has been incredible with me. The support they have provided to me. They are like Pass Labs and Boulder when it comes to customer service. If you have an issue, you call them and in a matter of 24 hours, you have a resolution. Their customer service is top notch. There isn't any long delays when it comes to ordering a product. It took about a, probably close to a month to build this unit and it was here at my door. So MSB has their you know what together. Can't say it, right? They have it together. Their production is solid. You can order anything right now and it will be probably done and complete in a matter of about 30 days, okay? I couldn't wait six months to get a product because you know my channel needs to move forward or else you all begin to drop off, okay? So I gotta keep you all entertained. So let's talk a little bit about what it does that the previous DACs that I've had here do not do. Okay, you guys heard two videos recently. You should have a pretty good idea of the scale, the dynamics. But let's talk about musicality. This DAC here, okay, has the most amazing musicality I have ever heard from any other DAC, period. It is natural, it is organic, it doesn't sound edgy, it doesn't sound like you're listening to something that's digital. It feels closer to an analog play presentation. It is the only DAC that I can honestly say it feels like music. It injects heartbeat into the music. It, it injects actual human performers into the music, okay? There isn't this feeling that you're listening to something that is downloaded or streaming. I can't say that, I repeat it, I, and I wanna repeat it again. I can't say that about many other DACs that I've owned in here, okay? Um, there's also this amount of information that gets thrown around the room, but the nuance and the added resolution that you hear isn't just detail. Some components out there, guys, are just about detail, a lot of detail, a lot of information, a lot of information. And I've gotten to a point when I'm sick of that. I'm tired of that, okay? Here's why. Because what happens is it ends up becoming a distraction for me. It ends up becoming just sound. And I wanted to bring something that was more subtle when it comes to revealing the, small, the smallest and slightest details in the presentation, right? While still remaining musical. This DAC throws all this detail at you, but it does it in a way that it, that engages you, that reels you in. It doesn't become an MRI machine with no soul. Of course, I know some of you guys are gonna say, have you connected the Taiko Extreme Music server to, into it? No guys, I have not done that just yet. That will come. Um, right now I am trying to evaluate the piece as it sits right there just with a regular ethernet cable connected into the router and one step at a time i am going to begin to add the pro usb module into the tyco extreme begin to add ethernet cables 
and so forth okay so there is going to be a lot more happening you guys are going to get to hear how i begin to elevate it and get it to a whole new level okay once again guys this has been the best purchase i have made over the last 36 months i want to open up a round table and go around and ask everybody those that are in the know what is the most important component of a system for years we've been saying it's the speakers it's your amp it's your preamp now i have a world-class source now i am actually the one confused because it's starting to feel like perhaps the most important component of a system is actually the source now i don't know yet i still gotta continue you know me i'm gonna continue to bring you more content and i'm gonna continue to live with this piece okay for now this is not going anywhere so this is gonna ride with me for over the next at least 12 months at least okay um but i think we need to really really have a discussion about what the most important component in a system really is is it your speakers your amp or preamp i have never had a source that has transformed my system into what it is today never had a source like that with my wilson speakers with my magical speakers notice i sold my wilson's i sold my magicals i've sold a lot of the ultra ultra top speakers that i've had here ultra expensive speakers that i've had here and all i have done is kind of move my funds into the source and got speakers that are more affordable and i'm liking the results that's what's interesting i am loving the results i am completely astonished by what i'm hearing okay so maybe that's a question for you all maybe you guys can give me some comments underneath is the source really the most important component in any system or is it the speakers because that's what we have been taught in the past that the speakers are the most important component are they should you be spending most of your money into the speakers or into the source i want to hear from you all underneath comment give me your feedback what has been your experience as you have been going through your own journey trying to figure out audio nirvana and what your takeaways have been I want to hear from each and every one of you guys. Thank you for your time and your support. And please don't forget to subscribe. Until the next one. Peace.